Hi, it's Roger here with a question, which is, do you sometimes feel underwater? Do you ever feel like there's this rising tide and it's like you're on an island, uh, you see people losing their jobs, you see people who have less certainty than ever. Uh, it's almost like the tide rises and you go from a place where you're high and dry and everything's fine to suddenly you're underwater. And what does that actually mean when this kind of tide is growing? Because there is a movement around the world and this video is all about this concept of a sea of opportunity. I'm gonna be sharing three really exciting things with you on this video, but first I wanna tell you a story. It's a story of something that happened when we went to the Galapagos Islands. Uh, if you've been to the Galapagos, I mean, as you know, this is the place where Darwin came up with his whole theory of evolution. Uh, and it was, uh, uh, it was when he actually went and visited there and saw just all of the wildlife that was there. If you go there, you see there's birds everywhere. We actually went out diving um, and we were told there was amazing diving, but we went out uh, out to a rocky uh, outcrop where there was really no life. There were some, some birds and so on, but really not much at all. Uh, and so we're there thinking, is this really the place where we're gonna see all this amazing stuff? And then we actually dived under the water and we dropped about uh, 20, 30 feet only and straight away we saw over 50 hammerhead sharks. You know, from the top, there was no way to know that they were down there. And then as we actually went down and we just like found ourselves in just the most amazing uh, uh, underwater life that was down there as well. And you know, this is just like opportunities. All around us, there are opportunities. But if you see the rising tide as something which is a danger, which is something which isn't what you want because you can't swim, you miss all those opportunities of what happens when you dive in. This is what I think is the difference of an employee mindset, the person who can't swim, can't fend for themselves if they go underwater, compared to an entrepreneur, which is like the diver where you see all these opportunities that weren't there at all. And if you start thinking that all those opportunities may be at a different level from where you are, then it actually makes you want to learn how to dive. So we have three amazing things that we're gonna be launching in the coming weeks. Uh, look out for them. The first one is our video series, The Entrepreneur Movement, which is a free series online that you're gonna have an opportunity to uh, get connected to other entrepreneurs to see what are the steps that those who are learning how to dive are taking and the way that they're actually opening up these opportunities for them as well. The second one is we also have got the IPO of our Entrepreneur Resorts and Beach Clubs, where you actually physically can show up in paradise locations and head out there and dive. So we have this happening uh, in the middle of May. This is something really exciting where every single entrepreneur has the opportunity to not just co-learn, co-work, co-live, but now co-invest in the home for the entrepreneur movement. We have a plan for 50 beach clubs and five resorts all around the world. Uh, we are listing company on the Seychelles Stock Exchange. We already have many amazing entrepreneurs that have come on board to support this. Uh, look out for the news on that coming soon. I'm really excited about it to be able to actually share this vision with so many entrepreneurs where we can actually own the home of the entrepreneur movement together. And the third thing is that we also have an entrepreneur mental certification which is coming up. I'll tell you more about that later after these two things have actually launched so you can really see what we're doing to bring together entrepreneurs all around the world, bring entrepreneur networks all around the world so we can actually connect with each other as well. And that brings me to a second story which is about diving. And this one happened closer to home. It's in Sulawesi, which is in Indonesia. And we went diving uh, along a cliff dive uh, with my family. We uh, were swimming along, looking at all the amazing creatures and things underwater when I could feel the shadow over me. And so I looked up and right there above me was a whale shark. And the whale shark had not been seen for a long time uh, within this area of Sulawesi. And so we were so excited. In fact, you can actually hear the dive master kind of like squealing underwater because you'd never seen one of these in 20 years of diving within Sulawesi. So there's something amazing about that experience of actually seeing something together, something that's hidden in plain sight. Above the water, you couldn't even see it was there. But there we were seeing this whale shark. And the most amazing thing was when we came up, we saw this evolution from crazy to connect it. We actually were straight away waving like, like crazy to the people that had come out quite, quite close to us and said, hey, there's a whale shark, there's a whale shark. And everyone's like, what is wrong with those people? And so everyone, everyone was just ignoring us. We actually got all the way back to the resort and then we started telling people about this and to begin with people like, are you sure? Then we showed them the video. Then they got excited and they shared with other people. That night was the most amazing night because everyone was talking about the whale shark. Everyone was talking about our experience. Uh, we were, we, everyone was connected in a different way because of what was now possible. The fact the whale shark had come back meant that the, uh, the sea uh, was clearer, more welcoming, uh, less fished. Uh, it actually 
allowed everyone to think this is actually a whole, you know, really successful uh, and super uh, special thing for the region. Why do I share this with you? Because maybe when you start getting into the actual opportunities that are out there, you start getting excited about them, people might think you're crazy too. We've seen that happen too. But the more you share it and the more people see the evidence of just what's possible today, that in place of more uh, uh, danger, more disruption, there's also more opportunity than ever. Once you realize that and then you actually share that with others, they might think you're crazy to start with, but you get enough of us around together and you end up eventually with everyone being connected to an entirely new reality. So look out for those big three things coming your way. And remember, we are living in a sea of opportunity. Yes, the tide is rising, that is the entrepreneur movement, but with that movement, we are seeing more and more opportunities today than ever before.